Hey guys, so I'm currently making these mini ghost centerpieces for my birthday party and I thought it turned out really cute so I wanted to share how I made it. This is what the first one looks like. I'm making about, I think, four or five. I also made this little witch hat for it. I don't know how I feel about it so I don't know if I'm gonna add that yet but that's what it looks like with the hat. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you how I made this. Now that I moved to my workstation, you can see the ghost details a little bit more clearly. So for this witch hat, it was a last minute thing. I just thought it would be cute to add it to the top. So you can see this one's kind of messy because I was just winging it, but all the glue marks are on the top. So I think I'm just going to use tape to attach everything since um, it will definitely be easier and less of a mess. But I don't know if I'm still adding that yet. So I'll still show you how I made it, but that's what it looks like. As for the ghost, I did get that idea off of Pinterest. There are also a lot of other videos to show you how to make this, but I just want to show you since I'm making it for my party. I am making the smaller versions. I don't know if I'm going to make the bigger one yet, but since I'm doing the smaller one, it'll, this will be easy to show you since I have this station right here. But what you're going to need is something to put the ghost on. So I do have some parchment paper here. You can use anything like a cloth or whatever, but I'm just going to use this parchment paper since I've already have it laid down. For the ghost, you will need some cheesecloth and I have already pre-cut mine. To make the shape of the cup, you will have to make your own DIY stand. So I do have a small styrofoam cup here and a balloon that I put on top to the size that I want my ghost to be. You can use a mason jar or any other kind of cup and you can use a styrofoam ball if you don't have balloons. If you want to make a bigger one, you could use, I think people use a basketball or some kind of volleyball, anything bigger to make a, a, a more giant ghost which i plan i think i'm gonna do i'm not sure just about yet but i do like the mini size ones because i think they look so cute on the table but that's what you need to make the shape of the ghost i do have my glue in this container right here so you should use something a little bit bigger if you're making bigger ones but i was already making another project so i had this on hand this is future me because i ended up using all the glue so i'm just going to show you how i made it i'm putting elmer's glue into my little container and I'm just going to squeeze some until I get the amount that I want, so I'll be right back. This is how much glue I have, so now I'm just going to put some water. That's how much I added. Just add a little bit at a time. And then you mix it up. So yeah, this is basically just DIY Mod Podge. And that's what it looks like. If you feel like it's too thick, you can add a little bit more water. Which... Um, the more water you add, it is it does become um less stiff, like the ghost. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, just a tiny bit. But yeah, so just mix that up, and then you can dip your ghost. For the ghost eyes and hat, I did use some construction paper and scissors. You could use felt if you want, but I just had this on hand, so I'm gonna use that. Once you have your stand set up and your glue mix, you can take your cheesecloth. Now, I already have my pre-cut, but you just want to make sure that it will drape down like this. I'm gonna use- you don't have to use two, but I will because I do want it to be a little bit more um, covered. So I have two different cutouts and i'm gonna just lay it like that to see how i want it to look um, once you do put the glue on it will shrink a lot so i do kind of overcut it and i think it looks better anyways because it will help the ghost stand at the bottom so i already have that pre-cut and i just draped it down so just cut yours to size and next you're going to take your glue and you want to dip your cheesecloth in the glue it's going to be really messy And then you're just going to squeeze all the excess out. Okay, and then you're going to just drape it onto the balloon or whatever you have on your stand. So just open it back up and drape it how you want. You can, of course, shape it because it doesn't dry down fast. I just finished laying down my cheesecloth and this is what it looks like and you can go ahead and shape however you want the bottom to be make sure you do have enough draping down at the bottom because of course that's how the ghost will stand so as you can see this ghost right here the balloon did deflate like once i woke up in the morning and i saw it so that's why his, he's kind of shaped like that which 
I didn't really like, but whatever. Um, this one, hopefully it doesn't deflate. This one does look a little bit bigger. And now you just have to leave it over at night or just until it dries and then you can take it off the stand. I do have a pre-made one, so I'm gonna go get that. Here is the other one I made overnight, and this one, I think this one kind of looks better than that one since the balloon didn't deflate on me. But now all you have to do is just remove it, uh, remove the cheesecloth from the stand. So it is going to be a little bit hard. I think if you use something else besides a balloon, it'll be easier, but this is all I had. So just try to push it off. I'm going to try to deflate the balloon. Try to, I will cut it, actually. Oh shit, that scared me. This is not going as planned. Okay, so you can see it kind of came flat, but you can just go ahead and push that back out. And this is what this looks like. All right, so this is what this ghost looks like, and I think it turned out pretty good. So now all you have to do is just find where you want the face to go, and I think this side kind of looks the best. So what you're going to do next is just cut out your eyes from felt or uh, just normal black paper. So that's what I'm doing. I do have it pre-cut because it's just circles. So once you have that, you can glue it on. You could use hot glue, but because I just have glue right here, I'm going to use that. And it should stick because the one I made previously does stick. So let me just add that. And then my other eye. I'm putting the eyes a little bit lower because if I do use the hat, I think it'll look better that way. So I do glue it onto the back of the eyes and then I paint the glue over as well just to make sure it's really secured. Oh my god, that looks so cute. Let's put the hat on just to see what it will look like. Oh, this hat is ugly because all the glue. Yeah, I think it looks better with the eyes lower because uh, the other ghost I have, his eyes are up a little bit higher. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry a little bit and then I'll paint some glue over it. So now I'm just going to take some glue and a brush I have and paint over the eyes just to make sure it sticks really well onto the ghost. And it should dry nicely so I'm gonna have to leave this one for a little bit as well but this is what it looks like once you do have the eyes on and now I'm gonna show you how I made the witch hat okay so for the witch hat you will need some cutouts I do have this one here it's just a triangle with a curved bottom shape this is going to be the top of the hat and then you're going to need to make a cutout of the this, this is basically like a donut but I will put a screenshot of what I did trace over you could size it differently because of course we're not going to make the same size ghost unless you are but um i'll just put a screenshot of what i just traced over to make this and once you get these shapes um you're just going to fold over the triangle to get the top of the hat if you have glue dots you can use that too, um because i think it'll look better but you just roll that up and then let me go ahead and tape this in the inside so I did put a little bit of tape and I am going to use a tiny bit of glue. I know I said it wasn't, but let me try not to make a mess this time. And then I'm just going to hold it for a little bit and hopefully it stays nicely. Okay, so for some reason, I just could not get the hat to go like straight, like into a perfect shape at the top. The same thing happened for that, that one I made back there. So what I just do is just cut off that little top part to make it look more like a hat on top. Or I mean the top of the witch hat. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to just cut little slits at the bottom of this hat because it's going to go into the inside of the circle right here. So don't make it too long, just like tiny little cuts. Hold on, let me try to adjust the camera. Okay, so just slits like that. I haven't made a video in a long time, so... That's why this one kind of sucks, but I just want to show you what I've been doing lately, trying to DIY some stuff. But once you get that in there, you can push the hat through the donut. And once I make it, once you have it through the other side, 
you're going to bend down the little slits like that. Yeah, you will have the little uh, slits bent down and then you can push it back towards the top of the hat and then you can just tape down this side. You could glue it, but again, like I'm a mess, so I'm just going to tape it to make sure it's secured. So I taped down the bottom. I know it doesn't look good, but it's the bottom of the hat anyways. You're not going to see it. And that's what it looks like. So let me bring this guy back over. The eyes are still being dried, but that's what it looks like with the hat. Oh my god, so cute. So yeah, that's basically how you make one of these ghosts. So I'll show you um, it in a different angle so it looks a little bit better. But once it's dried, so I'll be back. Here are my ghost, and the one on the right is still drying a little bit, but this is what it looks like. I think they turned out really cute. I'm kind of wondering if it's a little bit too big for the table, because I will have some other decorations as well, but right now I think they look really good. I don't think I'm going to make any of the big ones, because I don't think I have enough of the cheesecloth left, so I'll just do some more mini ghosts, and this is what they look like. I think they turned out so cute, and um, I hope you guys really like this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.